Hi guys, so I had promised you guys a workstation tour and the time just it's just working out right now. So I actually have two workstations as I've mentioned in previous videos. So this is the workstation where I film my videos. Um, it's kind of a mess which is why you usually don't see most of it. You can see it's kind of small. I don't have my camera set up in here right now because I have a few other videos I'm filming in a different spot. But this is just the little corner that I film all the videos in and usually the camera sits right here. But it's not up right now because I have it, well I'm trying to set it up in some other spaces to film some different videos. Um, so that's it. This is why I have to bring all my crafting stuff with me because there's nowhere to put it really in here. Um, this is all the crafting stuff I keep at my workstation. And this is basically just those little pads of paper that I got from Paper Cut and an extra corner rounder and some pens. Um, and then this random gift box punch board and then I have my envelope punch board that I keep in here. Everything else stays out at my main workstation unless I'm filming a video in here. And I have a couple of videos I'm filming this weekend on my main workstation which is why I'm filming the workstation tour because that station is all super set up. So this is my filming station. That's all there is to it. There's a garbage can under there. And I'm going to go take you out to where I do most of my other work for the rest of this video. So I will be right back. Okay, this is my other workstation. So the little corner you saw where I film my videos is just in my bedroom. This is out in our dining room. Um, so this is my sort of die cut station. Then I have a little glitter station. That um, purple thing actually belongs to my mom. That's the diamond press. I'm probably going to do a video on that. Um, it's kind of a tool I forgot that I sort of had. Um, so I'll probably film a video on that eventually. Now that I'm looking at it. There's a little pen and pencil caddy back here. It's just a box with toilet paper tubes in it. And it's just got a variety of pen pencils, random tools that don't really have another home in it. Then we go over here. We have my scan and cut. And you can see the sewing machine just happens to be set up right now. But usually this is what you see. So here's my scan and cut. I'm working on a couple things. My ditto from Totally Tiffany. I might do a video eventually where I'll go through what I'll keep in here. Um, but I just, I'm still kind of figuring out what I keep in it. I keep changing my mind. And I am in the middle of some projects and getting ready to film some videos. So... It is a little bit of a mess right now, so you're going to have to bear with me a little bit. But you're getting the real feel this way. Um, this is kind of my workstation. I have the Tim Holtz craft mat. I'm probably going to end up getting a different one. I can show you I cut it. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention and happened to cut it um, through it because I forgot to put down my other cutting mat. Um, so I'm probably going to end up getting... A different mat because this one I don't know I think I want a different one um, I think I know which one I want to but I don't want to say it in case I decide not to get it this is usually my work in progress pile anything and everything that I'm working on sort of gets piled in this corner until it's finished or I can move back into one of the other rooms um, because we also have another room that's an office that we store some of our craft stuff in so that's that, and then I have this little scrap of a bob that holds my drink and a little garbage can. So that's it. That's literally all the space that I have for crafting. I have a closet, and I have um, another corner of a room that where most everything is stored. But this is all the space I use for actual crafting, and you can see I take over the floor too. My Copics are down there, and everything like that so that's all it is so my point kind of is you don't need a ton of room to do this kind of stuff I know for the longest time I felt like for anyone who might be thinking of starting a channel 
I felt like I couldn't start a channel because I didn't have enough space. I wanted to make a big studio and all this stuff. And yes, that's still kind of a goal to have a room where I can leave the camera up all the time and have lights and have a nicer tripod and to sort of upgrade some upgrade some equipment eventually because a lot of my equipment's five plus years old. Um, but for the most part, this is all you need. You can do really easy, relatively decent quality videos. And I, my channel's been up for not quite two months. So I'm still learning. I'm still playing around with different editing softwares. I'm still playing around with different lighting options and things like that. So you kind of just got to figure out what works best for you and how you want to share what you do and what you love. So thank you for watching this really super quick workstation tour. And I will see you in next week's video.